One of the best things about open sourcing our code is it allows you as a student to easily just jump in and reference this code while you're going through it in the course. So what that means is when you get stuck, you might wanna see exactly what our entire project looks like at that time. So let's give an example. Let's say for instance, you're in the course itself. So here's the roadmap. Let's go down to the products component. So if I click on products component, I'll actually see some stuff that's related to it. And I've got these different lessons here that have obviously different titles and we can actually work through these lessons. Let's say for instance, you're on the detail view, but for some reason you're getting a lot of errors. So we're in this section of products component in lesson six, but I'm getting a lot of errors and I'm not really sure why. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop my video, I'm gonna stop the lecture right there, the lesson right there, and I'm gonna jump in to github.com slash coding for entrepreneurs or simply joincfe.com slash github and it's gonna take me here. Now I'm in the e-commerce course, so I'm gonna go into my repositories and I'm gonna look for e-commerce. So I can quickly do a search for e-commerce and you're gonna see a few different ones. Now e-commerce archived is not it, right? That's not the name of our project. Our project's name is e-commerce. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and notice, notice the time, right? That's another thing. If you click on one of these older ones, you'll see, hey, it hasn't been updated since 2014. That's probably not the one we're working with. E-commerce 2 hasn't been updated since 2016. Okay, that's probably not the one we're gonna work with. E-commerce, the final one, the actual one we're working with has been updated in this case two hours ago. Um, that's obviously what we've done. So now that we remember our section is the products component and then the title of our lecture is detail view. So if I scroll down and look at the different lesson code, I've got section products component and detail view. So I can actually click on that and this takes me to that code at that time. If I click on the source for it, I can actually see all of the code that's in here. Now, none of this is gonna make sense just yet, but I wanted to bring it to your attention so you can always reference this code. So if you're on this lesson and you get problems, you can go on here and click and take a look at what we've done. You can copy and paste it. You can do whatever you need to do to make sure that what you're doing in the lesson is the same as what we actually did. One other thing I will say is, when we go back to that main repository where the lesson code is, uh, when you click on one of these, it's actually the code that's at the very end of that video. So if you get some issues right before that video, so if you're on lesson um, 10, featured and custom query sets, and right away you're having issues, I would jump in to lesson nine and take a look there. That is actually pretty important. And the last most important thing is, when you are looking for the lessons, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this line is nice and clean. What I mean is, if I click on one of these, I see that I have a different tree here or I have all this other stuff. You wanna make sure that when you're clicking on those, you're going to the main one or the most recent commit. Otherwise, you might even be looking at old code that has some issues with it. And in some cases, you won't even see code for the lesson because there might not be any or any new code for that matter. So we actually do as best we can to make sure that the code that's relevant to that lesson is on here and it's actually showing up as needed. Um, okay, cool. So if you have any questions on how GitHub works, please let us know in the comments below. Um, what I will say though is a lot of this stuff is gonna make more sense when you run into issues. Like if you run into an issue and you use GitHub to solve that issue, that's when it's really gonna come in handy. Otherwise, it's just good to know that in the future, even if you forgot some stuff, you can just look back at the code and say, oh wow, cool, I can, I can just jump right back in and learn more about what I may have missed or just use this as a general reference. Okay, so again, if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.